Back to the Smart Nonsense Podcast, where we talk about entrepreneurship, self development, and challenging norms. I'm your host Henry. That's Dylan, and we're here in Miami on May fourteenth, twenty fourteen. Twenty fourteen, <laughs> baby. Look at our hats. Rip. Oh fuck, oh, dude. Look at that hat. We got David Sachs with the schnoz. It's only got six feet. Come on. Sorry. Here. Sorry. Hey, this is why we're normally a remote podcast. We're in person. Because we got the invite. We get the call up. <laughs> Just making sure. <laughs> Just making That's why <laughs> we had to shut down the in-persons. Because uh, Belky's gassy. You haven't heard it, but the last 30 minutes, he's just been letting loose. No. Uh, <laughs> hey, Bob. normally... I don't like this city. Normally what? Uh, yeah, let's have some banter. Let's have some banter. <laughs> oh, you're going to go right into why? it? Why? Because it's muggy? You're going to go right into it, Pop? I'm sorry. I, I We're only at two minutes, Pop. And it's barely even that. Uh, it's Spanish by default. Mm. This city is Spanish by default. It's humid by default. Mm. And I said, if you told me... Look, nothing against Latin America. Yeah, preface that. No offense. No offense. None. But if you dropped me in Latin America or here and I was blindfolded, I couldn't tell you the difference. And that's just not my vibe. Right. That's just not my You'd vibe. You'd be living in Ecuador if that was your vibe. That's right, Pop. Yeah. I get this is your place, but it's not for me. It's well, humid in Spanish. My, my girl Clara, actually, this morning I got my hair cut. For those of you that are OGs, you probably remember my little story. Oh, dude, that was with her? <laughs> well, yeah. You went back? My sweaty minx, dude. <laughs> you should have seen her today. She's like, I'm like, yeah, last time I was here, I was sweating a lot. And she like looked at me all nervous. I don't know if she remembered, but I was, I remember her. Oh, she, she, she was the out. one. She because I don't know if we do B roll anymore. She no. was the one that said, "I can't cut this." No, I she, can't. She gave a valiant effort, dude. A good <laughs> ten minutes of just me. Picture me back in my gym days, as in like three months ago. I gotta get back in it, but I'm gonna. <laughs> Go I, I was just, <laughs> I was pumping. And right after the pump, I'm like, fuck, I got my appointment right now. I got to go get a cut. So I just quick jump in the shower. Uh, but you know it's muggy as a bug in a rug out here. Yeah. yeah. So I go down. I'm sprinting because I'm already late. Now I'm sweating more than my actual workout. And I got the Loch Ness Monster wet because I was right. just swimming in the shower. So the problem is Keep I go in your story. and uh, my hair was just stuck to her clippers and she was getting pissed. She had a, a blow, like um, like an air gun. A fucking air gun and her clippers just going constant. Air gun right in front of the clippers. And uh, after 10 minutes, she's just like, I can't do this. And I'm like, hey, give me a cool down. She she watered me down and we got through it. But, air gun in front uh, of the clippers, Pop. Hey, this is what I got today. I don't know if you see me, but uh, the Clara special. How about the rat scallion, Pop? You didn't get one, want to get one of these. Yeah, I didn't have enough rat in the back. But, uh, hey, today... Uh, yeah, I guess there's fuck the banter today. We got a one question. This is a quick Friday, and by Friday, I mean Saturday, uh, yeah, May 14th, 2014. Uh, we got another question, another listener question. I'm gonna who's this we one got come it, from? Uh, tweeted in from uh, Jerome. Is that his name? Jerome was last week, pop. Yeah, Jerome, two bangers. Jerome again, <laughs> yeah, he's got a long thread, dude. Oh, Jerome, shit. first thing he's like, who's should he? I be an entrepreneur? That was last week, okay, check that one out this week. <laughs> We're like, hey, dude, don't be an entrepreneur. We've learned our lesson. You can't bring the horse to water. But if you're too stupid, actually, what was that? I, I sent you the tweet. It was uh, Wilkinson or someone. They're like, the best mm, this definition of an entrepreneur. Oh, it was yeah. Wilkinson. Oh, Give me a hint. Give me a hint. Give me a hint. Oh, no, no, no. I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, Andrew Wilkinson. Love this quote I overheard at a recent lunch. An entrepreneur is someone who you need to talk out of things instead of into things. Rob Frazier. I thought really hard about that. One of my weaknesses is it's really hard to talk me out of things. Wow. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> Last wow. episode. <laughs> wow. I yeah. just mean in all F, all corners of life. All right, so here, uh, right. Jerome... <laughs> I've given up on trans. There's no, there's no way to transition. That. Yeah, we just spent six hundred dollars at Zara. There's no way to transition. Yeah, hey, <laughs> maybe. I mean, most people are paying seventy five hundred dollars for a ticket, so it's probably like ten grand all in. Oh, more than ten grand for a hotel and everything. 
Most people are spending like 15 grand on this trip. Uh, the trip- Our business doesn't even have that in the bank. No, no. So, uh, so we were hitting up Zara. Belky's a fucking mannequin, so that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> you just off the rack. That's an inside fits, joke, dude. Regular. You're just a uh, average ass dude. Small thirty thirty, small thirty six chest, Eight. average, five nine. That's not bad. That is average. I think five nine is actually average. So, uh, smoked it. Now we want to talk business, okay, Jerome? <laughs> you you listen to us. You're like, hey, I'm fucking stoked. You can't talk me out of this. I want to do it. Let me do something. Jerome comes in and he asks, what do I do? Like, what, what should my business idea be? Great question, Jerome. If you're asking, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the entrepreneur. Here's the problem with our one question Friday. If you're asking these questions, don't, don't listen to this right. podcast. You're, you're, you're. That's not. That's if you not look helpful. at us, that's we didn't helpful. mean to start a business by any. We meant to start a successful podcast, and we flubbed that one. And ended up with a semi-successful business. That's exactly right. Our idea was this podcast. This was supposed <laughs> to go viral a long time ago. Never did. But the beauty of it was we used that same machine to make other people go viral. Because uh, this is good. That was a good segue, Pop. Because. With this podcast, you set up a system that worked for you. And in doing that, you found every single thing that was wrong with mm. podcasting. You found you found a thousand ways somebody could inject value into a process. Right. So your idea was start this podcast. The business was, by accident, a bunch of processes we optimized along the way. That's how I think about finding ideas is just doing stuff and, and realizing uh, where you can add value. Right. So I think step one was we chased our own curiosity. We're like, oh, this is interesting. Uh, let's try podcasting and growing that way. And we're like, oh, we encountered problems. I kind of, I was lucky because I had a job and I saw a lot of problems and I quit that job to start this viral podcast. And then I came back and I'm like, oh, we could just use the same playbook because we got hit by COVID. We're shooting remote podcasts. I'm like, yo, Todd, you could use this. And so I instantly went from employee, which was basically the same, to now being an agency selling to my ex-employer. So you could do the same where uh, maybe you're not ready to be an entrepreneur. You just join a startup and you're like, oh, there are all these startup problems, which is already awesome because you're at a layer of most people don't see. Like most, say, college op- entrepreneurs, they have no idea what the real world is like. So you get that and then you, you jump into business or you just jump in uh, and like live poor for a while and then figure out what problems you have and try and solve them. But that's a little bit less B2B. Like the nice thing about solving a problem that you notice in a business is like businesses pay a lot. So you're probably solving an expensive problem. Yeah. And then they're like, then they start asking you what the products, what it costs. And you're like, it's not even a product yet. And they're like, no, 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 let me pay you. And you're like, I'm not selling this. And they're like, no, let me pay you. And it's like, oh, that's a business. Yeah, I, I didn't. We haven't sold. We haven't. We haven't like sold a single day. Don't know how. Except don't know this how. weekend we might by accident though. It's not even like selling. Like it's just okay. Here's our approach to. Granted, we have an awesome product, so we kind of chased our curiosity, built something amazing around that. So like we just solved it in the best way possible by hiring the best people. But now when we're here, we don't sell because. We just made a video. Like, actually, this is your dad's idea. We're so stupid at marketing, we don't even realize to make a video. We're like, let's get merch and give it to everyone at this event. It's like, you guys make. Right, we made hats. My dad's like, how about you make a video? (laughs) It's like, great idea, Wano. He just comes in with the noggin bombs. We should ask him things more often. We put David Sachs's face on a tie. Those are coming in today. Oh, we still got those. Yes, sir. And Wano's like, how about you make a video? I don't even like ties. I thought we got socks. Those two. Oh, wow. That's why we spent 300 bucks, huh? Yeah, mostly the hats. These hats are expensive one-off. Hell yeah. No, they're sick, though. They're the dopest hats. So point being, I think, uh, like, for example, my girlfriend ran into this where it's like, if I wanted to create a business, I don't even know what I would do. And so a lot of my advice, uh, this is probably bad advice, but it's just like what we did. I'm like, hey, Ice or hey, I don't know, Issa in this case or Matt. 
I'm like, just start a podcast as you learn something, like just get into learning something. And then the deeper you get into learning it, you see problems whether with yourself or like with that niche. So with Matt, my friend, I'm like, yo, just study Web3. Granted, it just cratered. So fucking good thing you didn't get too deep into it. But like just study that and you start to understand it. And then you have like the podcast, too, as a proof of work when you're maybe selling some potential client. Um, I don't know. People have like I'll see a matrix of like, oh, look at like uh, problems in the world and look at like old problems, new solution. Or new problems, old solution, and try and do all this stuff. But I don't know. I, I don't like the idea of searching for a business. Agreed. There was another one. It was like, this one was more specific, but it was like, whatever Balaji did 10 years ago that didn't work, just do that again. And it'll work now. But the, the point is like, I don't know. Most all business models have been created. So pick something you love copy someone's business model we cop- copied like uh base camp netflix no rules for rules and probably one other thing well that's not business models like how you make money uh like, i don't mean business model money. well no in the early days okay for oh maybe this ties into what we were talking about before with the uh cop uh, creative Co- cre- hmm. you can't put k's in the word creative it well, gets confusing it's basically our creative content with k's content creative content it's oh, an agency okay basically it's like what we're doing just approach from a completely different angle so what they did was they built their uh, like technical side of the business first before proving out their concept their like uh product uh, market fit and now they they get the product and they're like hey why doesn't the market fit this versus we've just like we didn't have a website for a year and we're like let's just try and figure out like what people want and then once we get that demand, we'll build something more scalable around that or change our business model to adapt. But they, they did the other way. And then they had this fucking like huge client churn at the end of the year. I'm like, oh, my God, it's 80 percent or something, it's 50 percent, 30 percent. We were talking about call in this morning. Uh, this app we were like involved with at, at launch for social podcasting. One, we haven't really heard anything about call in since. That's not a good sign. Two, I heard shortly after, so they were meant to be like the audible for podcasts. And shortly after their launch, what does that mean? I don't know, but shortly <laughs> after their launch, they found this huge use case in um, fantasy sports groups going on call in and like just hanging out there on Sunday game mm-hmm. talking about their fantasy sports. It's like, oh, so you spent an entire year raising $12 million building this thing in stealth? For people like, um, oh, did I say Audible? I meant Clubhouse. Yeah. I meant Clubhouse. Um, to make this Clubhouse type thing, and then you find out at launch that it doesn't have that use case, and a better use case maybe is fantasy sports, which you never would have thought about. Well, that's the sort of MVP argument of they try to get it all perfect and yeah. doing like test flight and stuff, and just like how hard can it be to get a basic room up? Or maybe you could even do it other ways, but it's kind of like Twitch. Twitch, which was originally just in TV, was just like any sort of uh, live stream. But then they're like, oh, most people don't want to live stream for hours and hours and hours on end, except for this one mm. really peculiar niche, 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 niche? which is Nietzsche. gaming. Nietzsche and now it's literally just a gaming platform. And that's that's like the area where you can live stream for eight hours a day, 10 hours a day. Yeah, because it doesn't matter when you come in. So That's brilliant. I guess if I'm someone lost right now, like what should my business idea be? Stop thinking. I would stop thinking about that. It's just you're trying I would to just start. Do, yeah, I would just start doing stuff, either at work as an employee, or like like I was a wedding photographer, for instance. I start doing a dozen weddings. I'm like, I can't edit these photos anymore. Right. So by force, I had to learn how to outsource, and then I'm outsourcing my edits to people in the Philippines, and I'm like, ah, there's a business here. And then I was like, oh, I can't be at every single wedding every single weekend. I got asked to do three weddings this weekend. Okay, let me hire an associate photographer. Pay them 75 bucks an hour. I charge 150 bucks an hour. Pocket the difference. This is like... Just do. I think think you just have to be more observant. Because, for example, if you're like looking for problems, then today we're talking with our accounting team. And you, you just said, like you know what really pisses me off? And I'm like, I already know what the fuck pisses you off. It is when they send an Excel sheet and you have to now download that, upload it to like Google Sheets 
just so that you An can interact XLSX with it. XLSX file. Right, same shit. thing with docs with lawyers. And it's like, okay, that's a problem. I don't know how much of a pain point it is, but if you're just like, I want to just build the modern accounting agency. And she's like, we only use these awesome tools that you already use. Like, we're not going to be the old antiquated people. You're just like a hey, 21st century finance. Like, that's that's our company. You could market the shit out of that. Be like, it's so easy to market too. It's like, look, you've done this before where you have to download stuff and upload it. Like, that's just a, a case in point of their entire business. Like, they're trying to get on calls on the time, all the time. We don't do that. Text us. We, yeah, we know where you are and how to use that little iMessage support chat. Right. You know, like implement that. So, so here we are running our business and we could start an accounting firm that's, you know, we love them, but a hundred times better and right. more efficient because we see all the, the issues. So you just got to get out in the real world, I guess, and be observant, be curious. Yeah, be observant. Uh, Ask why. That's all, Jerome. Thanks for the question. Thanks, Jerome. Hopefully dude, you keep was... adding to that thread. Uh, oh, are we out for next week? What? We're out of questions for next. That was the end of his thread. Uh, <laughs> Who do you tweet at? <laughs> He, he tweeted at smart nonsense, uh, okay. but it, it was a private hidden. hidden oh, tweet. so like a DM. A DM. Yeah, okay. He did one of those uh, yeah. DM thread. Okay. Uh, so hopefully we get more DM threads or real threads, uh, and then we'll answer your question once these go live. Garden Gar- Lou.